Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have another very fun problem for you guys today. I feel like I've seen this problem probably a couple times before. Um, I don't know exactly the source, but it seems to be like a common theme that comes up a lot. Um, so it involves a parallelogram to start off. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. Alright, so I'm going to go over the solution. Uh, so we have a parallelogram ABCD. Uh, e is on AB and F is on BC, so that AE is equal to CF. And uh, AF and CE meet at P, and we want to show that DP is the bisector of angle ADC. All right. So if we want to show that DP is an angle bisector, uh, one way to do it is to uh, try to use the angle bisector theorem. So that's what I'm going to try to do here. Um, so when I first solved this problem, I actually did it in a more complicated way using Menelaus and a few other things. But then after trying to solve it, or after working on it for a little bit longer, I found this really nice solution. So if we want to use the angle bisector theorem, it makes sense to uh, try to extend CE to meet AD. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to let them meet at a point G. And we want to show by the angle bisector theorem um, that uh, DG over DC is equal to PG over PC. All right. Um, okay. So, but first note that uh, DG over DC um, has to equal AG over AE because A, B, and CD are parallel. Um, so I'm going to write that out. Um, so what I just said, uh, DG over DC equals AG over AE. And now we can use the condition in the problem statement that AE is equal to CF. So AG over AE has to be AG over CF. Okay. But now, um, whenever you have this sort of configuration where you have, um, two segments on parallel lines and you um, connect their endpoints like this and they intersect at a point P, um, then that means that triangle CPF has to be similar to APG. And so there's a bunch of ratios you can work with. Um, and, and this similarity is kind of obvious because um, angle AGP is an alternate interior angle with angle PCF and the same with um, angle CFP and angle GAP. Um, and so that means that um, AG over CF has to equal GP over PC. Okay. And now we're essentially there because um, by transitivity, that means that DG over DC equals GP over PC. And so by the angle bisector theorem, uh, DP has to bisect angle ADC. Okay, so I'm just going to write that out. Um, so yeah, this is a very short problem, but I, I feel like it's really elegant um, and I enjoyed it, so I decided to put it on my channel. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, if uh, you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.